Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not rude. I think with young people, I think it's cool to be able to empower yourself to know that my that my parents, my voice to my parents and the ones I love does matter. I just have to not be so fearful to, to show it and to use it. And I think this movie kind of makes you go, why am I being so hard on myself? You know, I don't have to be so hard on myself. I'm in process and every day is a new day. And this whole idea of the person that I need to become and, and the relationships that I need to have, it doesn't exist. Like. Every day will be different and I'll get to where I need to go because I'm doing the work, because I'm loving myself and I'm taking the time to, to feed myself with the things that I need to make me happy right now. And I, so that that goes way beyond just like, you know, I just, everyone should see that. Everyone should see that. That's just that's just good. You're drawing on the stuff you connect with, you know, and stuff either you've lived or relate to in some sense. It's interesting because like for me, when I started with this movie, that wasn't even the topic I was or stuff I was starting with. It was starting with something different and it was like dichotomies in our lives, high and low and good and bad and like very broad ideas, but that sort of inform literally the structure of the movie and the essence of the movie. But then more grows out of that. So I think in terms of toxic masculinity, that came about hugely a part of like Tyler's arc, uh, collaborating with Calvin, talking about our past, uh, talking about our fathers, talking about our families and experiences and just pulling from real life stuff and kind of putting that into a narrative and that naturally comes out um, to where it wasn't even about, we're gonna make a statement on toxic masculinity or something, it was just like uh, taking inspiration from real life stuff and trying to treat it honestly and that's sort of what it turns into.